Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today's question I got from one of my subscribers and he has a problem. On the remote island Dr. Hassan discovered a new species of plant that can produce a blue or white flowers. The species performs self-pollination or cross-pollination with the help of the insects. Genetic experiments show that the white flower phenotype is recessive to blue. Based on the statistical data, 91% of these plant species produce blue flowers. If a person cross two plants with blue flowers at random, what is the probability that F1 generation or offspring will produce white flowers? And here is the variance of the answers to choose from. So how we are going to solve this problem? In order to solve this problem, all you need to know Hardy-Weinberg formula. We learn it at the very beginning when we study population genetics. So here is the formula F stands for the frequency of the three genotypes which we can get when we have one locus with two alleles. So frequency equal to P squared plus two P Q plus Q squared and all this equals to one. So take a look. P squared here stands for the genotype which is capital A, capital A, or homozygous dominant. 2PQ stands for the heterozygous genotype, and Q squared stands for the homozygous recessive genotype. We can get, as I said, three genotypes with only two alleles, dominant allele A and recessive allele A. And these two genotypes would make one phenotype, which is plants with blue flowers, and this one, makes another distinctive phenotype with the plants with white flowers. So small a, small a. We also may change color here, but you should understand that these two genotypes would make one phenotype because dominant allele is dominant over recessive allele A, which specify white pigment in a color if uh, genotype of the plant is going to be homozygous recessive. We do all our calculations on the scale between 0 and 1, or we also can do on the scale between 0 and 100%. But as you see, we do on the scale between 0 and 1. And it is easy to convert numbers that we are going to get back in percent form. We just have to multiply by 100. In our calculations, 1 equal to 100% and zero equals to zero. Now let's check our problem again. We are told that 91% of these plant species produce blue flowers. That means that these plants make 91% and this phenotype makes 9%. Or we also can say 0 0.09. As I said earlier, here in this formula, we have only two alleles dominant allele A and recessive allele A or allele P and Q. So you have to understand that we have two alleles P and Q. All these alleles in the gene pool, if we combine them, is going to be equal to one. So this is dominant allele, P stands for the dominant allele and Q stands for the recessive allele A. And if we know a frequency of one of these alleles, we will instantly know the frequency of the second. Take a look. If this genotype is 0.09, then we can find the frequency of the recessive allele. We just have to take a square root of this number. So frequency of the recessive allele A would equal a square root of 0.09. And it's going to be 0.3. As I said, if we know the frequency of the recessive allele, we can instantly tell the frequency of the dominant allele, which is going to be, as you see, should equal to 1, so it has to be 0 0.7. Now let's return to our question again. If a person cross two plants with blue flowers at random, what is the probability that F1 offspring will produce white flowers? Now take a look. Let's, for example, say we took one plant that is going to be homozygous dominant and another is going to be also homozygous dominant. Will this result in a plant with 
white flowers or whose genotype is going to be small a, small a, no way. So we cross this variant. Is it possible, for example, if you'll take one parent that is going to be homozygous dominant and another is going to be heterozygous? I want to remind you that we can take only parents from these two genotypes which produce the same phenotype blue flowers. Let's say this is going to be parent one, this is going to be parent two. If you build simple Punnett square, you are going to find that 50% of the progeny are going to be homozygous dominant, another 50% are going to be heterozygous. So such cross is not going to produce plants with white flowers. So let's cross this variant also. And the only one way how we can take two parents with blue flowers and produce in a progeny white flowers when parent is going to be heterozygous parent one and parent two. In this case, I hope you can build uh, the simple Punnett square on your own. A quarter of the progeny is going to be small a, small a, and three quarters are going to be uh, phenotypically with blue flowers. Now when we know the frequency of the dominant allele and recessive allele, let's find the probability uh, of the heterozygous genotype in this gene pool. And here is the probability, so capital A small a would equal to 2 pq, so 2 times p, and p we have found is 0 0.7, so times 0 0.7 and times 0 0.3. And now we have found that the frequency is going to be 0 0.42. Let's put this frequency here in our formula. So 0 0.42 is going to be frequency of the heterozygous genotype in this population. And frequency of the homozygous dominant genotype is going to be 0 0.7 times 0 0.7. So it's going to be 0 0.49. If we add all these three numbers, we are going to get 1 or 100%. At this point, it is very easy to make a mistake if you think that probability that we'll take two parents that are both heterozygous would be 0 0.42 times 0 0.42. This is wrong way how to do it because 0 0.42 or 42% is a frequency of this genotype in this whole population. But when we take two parents, we take only those with blue colors, ignoring this variant. So let's recalculate percentages of the heterozygous and homozygous dominant relative to each other. So here's our calculations, 0 0.42, we have to divide by the 0 0.49 plus 0 0.42. So together, this is going to be 0 0.91 or 91% as you remember from our problem. So a new frequency of the heterozygous genotype is going to be 0 0.46. Again, this is a frequency of the heterozygous genotype if we only take those plants which produce blue flowers. And only now we can do our final calculation. So this is going to be a probability that we'll take a plant with blue flowers and it's going to be heterozygous. So parent one is going to be heterozygous with uh, blue flowers. And probability that the second parent is also going to be heterozygous is going to be 0 0.46 which is going to be parent two plant with blue flowers. And the rounded number in our answer is going to be 0 0.21. And as you see, this is answer B. At this point, you may also make another mistake thinking that if we'll take two parents who are going to be heterozygous, we also have to multiply by one quarter probability that they would produce 
plants with white flowers. But actually, we should do it if the question would be, what is the probability that we'll take two parents and they produce seeds and we'll take one seed and when we grow it, it's going to produce plant with white flowers. But our question is different. Take a look. If a person crosses two plants with blue flowers at random, what is the probability that F1 offspring will produce white flowers? Not all of them, but just some of them. So we just have to find only probability that parent one is heterozygous, parent two is heterozygous. Then in this case, they can produce seeds. And if we'll grow those seeds, some of them would be plants with white flowers and some with blue flowers. So we don't have to multiply our answer by one quarter. We just have to find the probability that we'll take two parents with blue flowers and both of them are going to be heterozygous. And here's the probability. And this is all for today. Subscribe and see you in the next video. Goodbye.